Trapezium shape muscle Trapez. here. Traps, trapezius. Um, how about the muscles that come around the sides here? Lats. Good job, Elizabeth. All right. Lats. How about? When have I took this in here? Okay. Um, what about the muscles that run up and down the spine? The erectors. The erectors. Mm -hmm. And okay, how about this muscle here? That's the deltoid. Deltoid. This muscle? Triceps. Triceps. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Not to choke on my spit. <laughs> what about these muscles right here? Occipitals. Yeah, very good. And is that face careful okay for you? Is that too high? Okay. What about these muscles right here? The glutes. The glutes. With a glute, how many? How many glutes are there? Glute muscles. Three. Three. Glute maximus. Medius and minimus. Very good. I feel like we should have told them that. Medius and minimus. Okay. Uh, I think one of the Okay, so that's what we're going to go over today <laughs> is back and I'll show you how to do glue. So just like effleurage anywhere else on the body, we are leaning in with our body weight and then gliding back up. So you're just kind of pulling your arms with your body. So always watch your body mechanics. This is a good time to start assessing the body too. So you can start even just with the stroke feeling if one side might feel like there's a little more tension than another. From here, I like to just kind of go to one side and work one side, and then I'll go the other side and work the other side. <clears throat> So you can do some petrissage on the trapezius. Yeah, trapezius. <laughs> it's too many big words today. <laughs> it's Monday. Okay. <clears throat> petrissage on the trapezius. For me, it kind of looks like we're squeezing in and lifting and then coming up here and pulling back. up the erectors. Always be aware of where your body is whenever you're massaging people. I literally have had therapists that have massaged me like from the side here and they're just like laying on my arm the whole time. It's just really awkward. <laughs> so always just be aware of how your body is during massage, where, where your body parts. And I know it's hard I have given massages through two pregnancies. <laughs> Literally, my last pregnancy, I like gave two, I did like two or three massages like that day and then had my baby that night. It was doable. Just be cautious. So when you lean in to work on the back, sometimes if I feel like I can't really lean in without like laying on their arm, which this is okay for me right now because my table is a good height. Um, I'll just move their arm out of the way. So that way you have a little more access here and you don't have to worry about like leaning or laying on their arm. 
So when I'm going up the erectors, um, <clears throat> sometimes if I'm having a hard time feeling if I'm in the right area, I'll find the spine with my fingertips and use them as a guide by putting my arm here. If I keep my fingers along the spine, then I know that my elbow, I know I have a better feel of if my elbow's on the erectors. And then when you bring the arm out like this, it also shortens the trapezius, which gives it a lot more movement and you can work in a little bit deeper. It is okay to lean against the table, but you don't want to be like bumping the table all the time because <laughs> that's weird too. <laughs> And I'm just working on the upper trapezius to the occipitals with my thumb. I'm just rolling it over. Does that feel okay, Jacob? Just one thumb up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> From this side, you can also, if you're comfortable with it, lift their arm up and put your leg under their arm and work their deltoid, trapezius, or triceps. I like to come around to the other side to work on the lats and the serratus anterior. So just try to keep your fingers together so you don't feel like real, like you don't want to tickle them or make them feel pokey. But this is like one of my favorite areas to have work too, because I just feel like I always need it so much. So right under here, I'm grabbing, I'm getting into that serratus anterior and working up a little bit into that subscap which is just under the edge of the scapula there. I feel like it's inside. How's that feel? Anywhere in the leg. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like also jealous right now. I know. It's like literally one of my favorite things. Like <laughs> it doesn't get worked enough. And so many people just kind of skip over it, you know, because they're not used to working in those areas. But yeah, I really love you. it. With your arm that hurts for you. Are you having a knee? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I what thinking. Thinking. That's good. Right here, working on the, the serratus yeah. anterior and kind of in the subscap a little bit right here. You can also work the infraspinatus here a little bit. And the subscap and the infra are some pretty major rotator cuff muscles. <clears throat> and they refer a lot, like this, the infra right here actually refers a lot of anterior shoulder pain, so it's really helpful to work out some of this. And you are going over a bony area, so just always be careful when you're over the bones <clears throat> because they will be a little more tender. Yes. Um, you can shake the arm out if you like, or you can go to like a deeper stretch for the lats if you put the arm hanging off of the table. Then it stretches this out even more, so then you can really go in for a stretch here. Shake that out. Okay. So you can put the arm across the low back. A lot of people like to do this. I'll be honest, I very rarely do it with my people because I don't like the way that this 
positions the shoulder where it's like pointed down like this. It's not really a great angle for that. But you can use this to work around the scapula a little bit. <clears throat> this arm stands up there pretty easily, but if you are going to do this, I suggest that you keep one hand on their arm. So they don't feel like they have to work really hard to keep their arm on their low back. Otherwise, for a lot of people, it'll just naturally start sliding off. <laughs> then they're like this. And we're still up here. And yeah, so just keep, just be aware of that. Now, some people will not be able to go like this either. <clears throat> so you have to work within their range. And so for some people, I'll just put their hand like here. work around that scapula. But I personally prefer to just lift the shoulder up and work under the scapula this way. What? What do you mean? So you can stretch it out this way too. What is this little muscle that runs right through here? Hmm? Rhomboid. Rhomboid. Yeah. And what did we talk about the other day with rhomboids? It has a lot of trigger points. They have a lot of trigger points. So they do feel good to be worked on, but but does it help to just spend all your time working on the rhomboids? No. Because there's like 14 different muscles that refer to the rhomboids. <laughs> So it's better to find the root of the soreness than to just go crazy on the rhomboids. Even though it feels good. It's not going to feel good a couple hours after the massage if you just strip the rhomboids <laughs> because those trigger points are going to come back if you didn't fix the root of the problem. It's a good time to just kind of work those occipitals a little more. Then connect the back, connect both sides. So we worked on one side, now we're gonna connect the sides again. And then come over and work it opposite side. So your first like long stroke up the erector should be a little lighter to get them used to that pressure that you're about to give to them. Then each time that you go up the back again, you apply a little deeper pressure and work a little bit slower. The deeper work that you go, the slower that you go. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Having your client breathe through some of the deeper work will make a big difference in the way that their body relaxes. So if you feel like they're just like holding their breath the whole time, <laughs> or you feel that tension in a couple areas, you can have them take a deep breath and just breathe through it. And sometimes these erectors are so tight that you're arm will just kind of roll off of it <laughs> so then you just go even slower and have them breathe through it that's also when doing like some contract relax work or something to activate that muscle will help relax it even more or you can use like a massage gun or something like that it's really good for it too
So when you put your leg under their arm, you always look for like their shoulder actually raising up so you get this space and that nice alignment. You don't want them to be like, like this. <laughs> so literally raise their shoulder up. You can work around here this way. You can also work into the infra here. deltoids, the triceps. No. <laughs> just a human. You can come around here and work on the lat on this side. Always be really careful whenever you're working down here over the kidneys and the low back area. There's nothing that is protecting your organs right here, so you never really want to put a lot of pressure there. Where did you say that? Right here. Okay. We're at the end of the ribs in between there, but always be careful there. And so I'm just leaning my body back for all the pressure that I need to use right here. Stretching out that serratus anterior. You can work down the back of the arms here too. Like if somebody's flexors are really tight, you can definitely take some time and work down the back of the arm. These are not bad on this way. You can do the hand. And then you can even come down and work on the glutes. Like finish up the back first and then I'll show you the glutes separately. And you kind of <clears throat> bring it all together again. And I think it's really cool because sometimes when you work one side, then you come back to like center them up again, you can feel a huge difference between the one that you just worked and the one you hadn't worked yet. <laughs> You're like, Oh, it's like two different people. And then you work on the other side and bring them back to a balance again. Such a big difference. All right. You can do some deployment. All up and down the erectors. Lighter pressure on the low back. That trapezius. Strokes. All right, I'm going to tuck his hand.